Hello everybody, my name is Havoc, and I create gameplay videos and guides on some of your favorite strategy games. And today I'm collaborating again with Paradox Interactive to give you the rundown on Crusader Kings 3's expansion, Legends of the Dead. This time focusing on an infectious mechanic, plagues. So wash your hands, because we're about to dive in. Starting as always with, what are plagues? Plagues are diseases that, much like legends, can spread across your realm albeit full of death and destruction rather than hope and inspiration. Any barony with a holding can be the epicenter of an outbreak, with factors such as development, terrain, the number of buildings, even the types of buildings like a port or a market, cultural era, and of course, the game rules that you set yourself. Plague spread is naturally affected by these factors as well, with some additional features such as the ability to jump up to two sea provinces or a baronies immunity factor to infection of the same strain once they've recovered. Baronies have an infection rate that signifies how much of said barony is infected, with thresholds inflicting negative modifiers to the barony and its holder. There are several new types of plagues that can now ravage your realm, with some new additions bringing in the wonderful sufferings of holy fire, bloody flux, and measles. However, some more original diseases like smallpox and typhus now have evolved into proper plagues as well. Each one has its own unique set of health traits for the infected, and their effects are certainly something you'll want to keep an eye on, as most plagues hit elderly characters the most severe, while things like the measles more affect children. Plague intensity is also a consideration in how you react to the situation, fueling the spread rate and how long your characters may be infected. You might choose a more gentle solution to a minor plague, but should the Black Death enter your realm, it's an apocalyptic level event, Desperation may call for burning it all down if necessary. Word also gets around fast in Crusader Kings 3, and it is definitely worth keeping an eye on both your own realm plagues, but also those that may be nearby, and even world plagues. With a plague's ability to travel from realm to realm on the aforementioned factors, a plague half a world away now may be on your doorstep in a matter of years. With all this doom and gloom around plagues though, surely there's something you can do to fight it, right? Absolutely. So let's take a quick look at fighting the plague. First, it has to be said that none of these methods are surefire ways to prevent your realm from either catching the plague or keeping characters completely safe. Plagues serve no master, and even the most resistant character could catch it. However, we can take a look at plague resistance, which is one of the best ways to buffer against them. One of the most cost-effective solutions is through your court physician, who now has the control plagues task boosting your plague resistance based on their aptitude. Your court physician will also be the go-to person in determining how to stop the spread of whatever plague is present, which provides those options of gentle or desperation, oftentimes with some potentially interesting methods. The next best solution lies in your buildings, both at the basic level with hospices or the duchy level burial site. Although costly, these remain constants in your realm and well worth building or upgrading in the later start date where plagues are more frequent. Lastly, you have a couple of decisions to both isolate your capital and protect you and your close family by entering seclusion. The former directly increases plague resistance for your realm, with the latter obviously more personal. Although coming at a decrease to all skills, it may be well worth it in these terrible times to increase the likelihood of survival. And on that dreadful note, we wrap up this video on Plagues in Crusader Kings 3 and the Legends of the Dead expansion. Thank you so much again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you're always up to date with all things Crusader Kings 3. This is Havoc with a fond farewell.